Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Average Fisherman. Here we are. I made it out to the water. I'm out on Bayou Benoit. We are going after bluegills and sockeye today. So I'm gonna have quite the pedal going, you know, three miles an hour. <laughs> so plan is to head down here to some of these um, little cut-ins and stuff like that and go give her a try y'all wish me luck let's get to fishing well just talked to a couple people I got garfish I didn't get it on camera because well that's not what I'm after but guy in a boat behind me, a bass boat. Third person who said they hadn't gotten a bite in all day. So, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep going down further. And um, I'm going to try here by these trees. I'm seeing fish at the five to seven foot mark. Can't get them to bite. Apparently nobody else can either. I have yet to see anybody hook anything, and I've been hanging around where there's a lot of boats. Nobody's caught anything, so we're gonna go in here into this little cypress flat and um, see what happens. Well, first fish of the day on the black and white jig is a catfish. <laughs> there we go. Let's get him in the boat so I can get him off here. Oh yeah, and he's wobbled the shit out of this thing too. I'm gonna have to, um, how the hell did you do this, buddy? I'm gonna have to get the pliers. I kept him just on the principle of the matter because he screwed up my jig head. Now I gotta retie everything. So, uh, first fish of the day, though. So I'm super happy about that. Not complaining. I put him in the chest. He's a good fryer size. Well, guys, I've been here for about, oh, hour and a half only have the one fish to show for it tons of huge garfish everywhere though which is fun I've, I've had a few of them hit one of my kai -tacks. going way down this way which is kind of worrying me because I'm a good mile and a half or so <laughs> from the boat launch and as you can see I'm going with the wind right now which means the entire time I'm coming back I'm going to be fighting the wind for almost two miles. Um, right at about four and a half feet of water right here. So it's not like it's really deep or anything. Um, which has me wondering, you know, like, the hell's going on? Because it's, it's like a big swamp flat, big cypress flat back there. And it gets really shallow, like less than a foot. Now I can get in there with the kayak, but it's pointless if there's no fish there. And the only thing I'm seeing on the flats are garfish. Um, that was a big brush pile I just passed over, but there's nothing on it. So, you know, I'm going to go down here where it narrows off a little bit and try to hit the banks, see what happens. Things aren't going too well, but of course, again, like I said, this is the very first time I've ever fished here. Never been here before, so I'm spending a lot of my time just kind of, ooh, that was a big brush pile. So I'm going to spin around here. Looked like they had some fish on it. So I'm going to try to pass over that again with the sonar and see what I can see with the down view. Okay, see some fish suspended. Should be right around in here. Trying to search for shit with the <laughs> sonar is not easy. Uh, lost 
lost track of it. Oh well, I'm not going to spend all day trying to find one little brush pile. But anyway, I'm going to keep going down here to where it narrows off and see what, uh, see what happens down there. Well, figured out the bluegill. Look at this monster. Good lord. He's a big one. Look at that guy. Nice. Number two on the big bluegills. They're just, it's just so random. It's hard to leave the camera on and, and catch it because it's just, it's a random thing. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to it, it doesn't seem like. Well guys, it's about 1.30, I'm exhausted and probably sunburnt because my sunblock wore off a long time ago. <laughs> well, only got the three fish still. So I figured out the pattern too little too late. You know that's how it goes, you're at a new spot. But anyway, I'm going to be coming back here for sure. It's a great spot. Beautiful place. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will be at work as usual. And I hope everybody is doing better than I am at fishing, which isn't really hard to do. So, anyhow, y'all take care. Tight lines, my friends.